on your lineup tonight? Any changes? Yeah, sights have in, holding out. Um, everything else is the same. This is a situation where you just want to get the key to in and not get too much rust. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think um, you know he played fairly well in Toronto, and and uh, you know he sat uh, four in a row here. Um, and if you knock on wood, you run into injuries. You have to have guys ready to play, and and uh, I think it's a good situation to get him in. Forsberg looks like he's good to go as well. Yeah, we'll see uh, after here. We'll uh, we'll see tonight. You guys uh, in Castlick to to your extension. Just wondering about the growth of his game and what you've seen out of him here to, to warrant that extension. Well, his work ethic, his 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 off ice training in the summer is is superb, elite, um, and has got him. Um, to a point where his improvement has made him an everyday player here. Um, you know, obviously he has to continue to prove that, but I think the organization clearly sees a guy that's going to be able to play and be a, be a force uh, down the middle for us for years to come. How has he carved out a role for himself this year? Well, he, he, he's big, strong, obviously tough, but his face-offs, he's responsible, and then his ability to hold on to pucks in the ozone, uh, get on the four check. His game has really, really improved. And I think as he gains more confidence, he'll get better and better. How much of an asset has that fourth line been this year? It seems like at, at points in which the, the top nine isn't you know, going too well, you lean on them for a lot of energy. Well, they know exactly what their job is. And they're not going to complicate it. They put it in. They get on the four check. They create turnovers. They get pucks to the net. Uh, they, they climb on the goalie. They do the things that you want everyone to do. Um, you know, And, and that, that game's not for everyone. But in saying that, they kind of get us pointed in the right direction when they're going good. What, what did it do for the mentality of your group to start getting some success on home ice? Well, I think the biggest thing um, is, is just your inner belief system. You know, everything's the same here. You know, you're, you sleep in the same bed, the same come in, the same breakfast. Everything's the same, and, and, it's, and, it's, and it feels good. You feel comfortable. You know, that's, you know, sometimes you go on the road and you get off a little bit. But, you know, last year it was the opposite. We were good on the road and, and you know, not as good at home. Uh, early on, especially, so it's great that we're having this. But the biggest thing is is the uh, the speed at which we're playing at home right now, and we got to continue that because it doesn't matter who you play. And like I said, win, lose, or draw, the next team coming in is always hungry, and Minnesota's hungry. Um, Costello, I think one of the things maybe you thought, maybe as a group thought, that he might need more time coming into training camp. But did he come into training camp and just refuse to be denied? That's fair. That's fair. I think he kicked the door down. I don't think he waited around um, and, and really gave us no choice. And, I mean, it was um, it was obvious that he had to be in the lineup for us. Uh, his presence, the way he was playing, the way he practices, just having him around makes us better. His face-off work, did you see that coming, or is that something he's really worked on? Well, he was an elite face-off guy in junior, which, I mean, that doesn't always correlate, but with his size, strength, and skill, um, you know, Davis Payne's worked with him quite a bit uh, on it. Um, and it's something that, you know, we talked to him about for him to get here sooner than later is his face-off ability, especially on the right side. Um, and that's something he's really worked on. And obviously his strength and compete level has is, is helped him in that. Can I just ask you about, like, Minnesota? You were saying yesterday they've got points in three games. What kind of challenge they provide for you tonight? Well, they're, they're number two in the National Hockey League in ozone time. That's six minutes, I think, 54 seconds a game. Uh, they're big. They're heavy. Um, and for us to avoid that, we're going to have to do that to them so that we can play more time in their zone. And then we're going to have to break out clean. If we break out clean, we won't be stuck in our zone. And, and, and when we are, we got to take care of it. We've got to keep them off the goalie. We're going to have to block more shots you know, than we have. Um, and we're going to have to close quickly to, to end those long cycles. DJ, so much of the emphasis in the last few seasons has been the starts. Just how satisfying when you kind of step back and look at the fact that you're four and two is that right now? I mean, there's there's lots was talked about it in the summertime, but I think internally we know in November of last year, I think we had 13 or 14 guys out. So I don't know how much that you know we're we're going to put into real stock of what happened there. That was a disaster of a month. Um, we just want to go game to game, whether we're off to a good start, not a good start. It, to us, I think the maturity's happened where we're not riding the wave of, of that. I think we saw that coming home after losing our first two is we are able to turn the page, and that's what we have to do. Whether we win the last game or lose, um, it's always good to win. You feel better, but you've got to be able to take on the next challenge and just go and just try and get points everywhere you can. And I know 
know that yesterday you said Cam Talbot's still a few weeks away, but he looked really good in practice. Has anything changed overnight? <laughs> and, and to be honest, it did. Um, you know, I was told today that he was able to go out um, and, and uh, face some shots. So, um, you know, he got in there today, and now, I mean, his conditioning and the amount of effort that he's put into keeping himself in shape over this will probably get him back in that net sooner than, than we had expected, and that's great for us. So we'll see how he felt out there today. Um, you know, we'll practice again tomorrow, um, and, and we'll see where he's at. But certainly he's, he's ahead of the timeline. Would that new timeline possibly be? That I don't know. They just told me he could practice today, and then we were supposed to talk after. So it's clearly ahead of, you know, where I had envisioned, kind of looked into that late November-ish, you know, for him was originally what I was told, and we're starting to think a lot sooner than that. So we'll know a little more in the next couple of days. You mentioned the speed you're playing with home, at home. Are there other elements to your game that you think are, are key to this run you're on right now? More physical. Um, we're not physical as in just hitting people, but physical as in we're checking pucks back harder. Um, we're staying on guys. Um, we're, you know, we're as a group more, uh, more hard, I guess, to play against when it comes to giving pucks away and turnovers and things like that. We're tracking really well. Um, we're playing. Uh, we're taking care of the puck, and, and, and I think all those things combine as well as good goaltending. You know, you only go as far as your goaltending, as well as good goaltending. And yesterday you talked about Broussard, you know, you're evaluating him in these next 10 days, or 10 games rather, um, hanging on to that position. What does that look like for him to stay on that second line? Well, whether it's he staying on that second line, he still could contribute in other spots. It's not, it's not a be-all, end-all that he's on that line. To be on that line, he has to obviously continue to contribute. That line has to contribute offensively, has to be good defensively, and has to have some zone time. You know, offensively, but that doesn't mean if if we make a change at some point that he couldn't play left wing, right wing, third line center, fourth line center. I think he's going to be a huge asset to us, regardless of where he plays. But the judgment right now is is whether that's the fit on that line.